We're back with a story that's all new tonight. It's a conversation we'll be having decades from now. What can we do to protect this beautiful place we call home? There are a lot of ideas, but tonight we're focusing on a push to bring green buses to our area. Here's transportation reporter Pete Muntean. Tesla type technology could one day power buses on our roads. Tuesday, Alexandria's bus system committed to finding a zero emission fleet. That means no exhaust. These are some of the buses that we are trying to rapidly retire from our fleet. Raymond Moy is the assistant general manager of the Dash bus system. Last month, the city was shown a bus powered by hydrogen fuel cells. It puts out only water. Now, Dash wants green buses on roads in two years. Well, it's exciting to be part of um, the transformation and shaping of the technology as we go into the next chapter. Meanwhile, Maryland is eyeing emissions of school buses. Governor Larry Hogan has approved a study to see if it makes sense to buy electric when it's time for new buses. It could be done, but schools are worried about the cost. Electric buses cost more than $340,000. Compare that to $90,000 for a diesel bus. Prince George's County Public Schools said it would need to purchase charging stations. The cost? $5,000 each. I think the entire industry, ourselves included, we're, we're very, uh, we want to be cautious about it. We want to make sure that we um, uh, we invest in something that works for us, not only in the near term, but in the long term as well. A push for cleaner public transit, just starting to get in gear. In Alexandria, Pete Muntean, WUSA 9.